Unfortunately, the title isn't clickbait. This was brought to my attention by somebody who watched the Goetia devlog video. That one has gotten really popular. And unfortunately, I received a Discord DM this morning talking or accusing the artist that worked on the project of stealing art for the project and putting it into our game. When I got the message, I immediately took it seriously. After the accusation, I confronted our artist, about the accusation and we had a discussion i told him to send me over all the art that he was accused of stealing so here are the images of the art that he made for the game and then here are some of the images that he took inspiration from this one is chaos demon by 000 fesbra 000 on deviant art and you can see that this image has some resemblance to this image that our artist created we also have have this image so i don't know the exact artist for this one but you can see they have text on 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 the image so that's probably the artist's name which is less connected to any of the images that we have in our lineup of images of card art but you can see it shares some similarity with the style and with the the vibe of the art that we have and then we also have this image called Ignis the Cleansing Fire by Legendary Memory on DeviantArt. This one also shares some similarity with this same image. If we look at these images and compare them to the images that we have that our artist created, we can see that they share some similarities, there are some ideas, and you can tell that this was obviously, our artist obviously used this as an inspiration to create the card art for our game. But that's all it was, it's inspiration. I don't think our artist should be accused of stealing for using this art for inspiration for any of the card art that he created for our game. A lot of artists, they do the exact same thing. They compile a list of images. Uh, sometimes it's real world images. Other times it's images that other artists have created and they collect it into a sort of mood board to try to get a feel for the type of art that they're trying to go for. It can be even a more direct imitation of the poses of different angles of how different body parts look and use that as reference. This is 100% okay. If this was the extent of the accusations that our artist was stealing from other artists, this video wouldn't exist. Obviously, <laughs> this video does exist, so there's more. And this next piece of image, I, I feel when I show you this, you might be a little conflicted like I was, or you could be on either side of the fence. And it's this image. Now, this image has a more strong connection to this card art that we had in our game. And to be honest, I think that this is a really gray area between is this right? Is this wrong? I feel like the idea was definitely 100% stolen off of this image. You can see some of the, the back positions of the tentacles from the back coming out of the fire. That idea was straight ripped off of this image. But you can also see that this image was not copied. It was taken as heavy inspiration from. It was probably put on the side and he drew his own version of it. Now, in this case, I could be convinced either way that this art was stolen or not stolen. Obviously, they're not the same image. Uh, personally, I think this one has a lot more depth. You could see a lot more of the details and it has a lot more contrast and it's more readable. Our artist, his is a lot more simple, but they're the same idea. Like I said, super gray area. This is definitely something that if I was shown, I would have to have a discussion with our artist. And then I would also have to have discussions with more artists that I know personally to see what their thoughts are on it and to see if this is something that needs to be addressed. And probably if it was just this image, this video still would not exist. So none of what I have shown you was what I was approached with in the Discord DM. The Discord DM that I got was a lot more egregious. It was a lot more black and white and it's just straight up theft. So let's take a look at those. <sighs> this image was called Demon by Ryan Bittner. And you can see that this image is a straight up copy. Now, our artist says that he didn't trace it. If we put these two images on top of each other, he's probably telling the truth that it wasn't traced, but just because it wasn't traced doesn't mean that it wasn't copied. When I talked to our artist about it, he was very adamant that he did do it from scratch, but he used this as reference. This is not reference. This is stealing. This is somebody else's artwork that they put thoughts, came up with their own idea, spent time drawing, and he just took it. He stole it. 
it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how else to put it. He stole this idea. He stole this image. <sighs> the next image we're going to look at is called Nightmare by Nakono Art on DeviantArt. This image is also stolen. This is just straight up theft. He, again, he said he didn't trace any of the art, but <laughs> I don't think in order to steal art that you have to trace it. It's the same thing, same idea, same execution, except his is honestly done worse, right? You don't see the, the light illuminating the the fog this is also a straight up copy the next image is from justin oaksford and this one is called mud monster and this one again is a straight up copy that he took from this artist and put into our game without our knowledge another straight up copy i don't understand how he stood behind his decision to say that this was not copied that he did it from scratch to say that i think is so dishonest and disrespectful to the artist that created that actually created this <sighs> The last image that I'm going to show you, and I don't know if this is the last image that he actually stole from, but this last image is from Pytho's art on Tumblr. And this is actually a fan drawing of the Enderman from Minecraft. It's very well done, really cool. You can see the light of the, the spit coming out of the mouth of the Enderman and the light reflecting off of it. I think it is very well done art. This image is actually the thumbnail for the video, right? And I actually reached out to Justin Oaksford and I also reached out to Pythos and I told them about the situation and uh, Pythos actually responded to me and said that uh, they were okay with everything that I had done to try to make amends. Obviously, these one, two, three, four, five pieces of art were obviously stolen and ripped off from other creators. It's so incredibly disappointing that our artists disrespected other artists' work like this and tried to pass off his worst imitation as, as his own art incredibly disappointing and disrespectful to the artist that he stole from and also really disrespectful to us to the team that worked on the game where we actually put in the work to make this game and put in like our creative energy so i understand being heavily inspired by something but this again is not inspiration this is just straight up copying and trying to pass it off as your own work uh these are all the images that our artists gave to me so uh i don't know if this was all that he stole from as far as I know, he could have stolen all of the images. In order to try to make this right, uh, I took down the game from itch for now, and I'm going to personally work on making new art for the game. And again, Pythos art generously offered us that we can use their art in our game. Uh, so we're, we're going to be keeping this art. I think it's a fantastic piece of work. It's really unfortunate that this situation had to, well, just happened in the first place. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be working with the artist in the future and they have already been taken down from the itch page and i left a comment in that video talking about the situation uh, it's a pinned comment there and there's also going to be a comment in this video just uh linking to all the artists uh pages portfolios and hopefully uh that's enough to to try to fix the situation i'm going to be creating new art uh, that i i actually make um it's not going to be as great <laughs> as the artist that he stole from but you know it's gonna be not stolen so it's gonna be better this is really shitty don't do this i can't state that enough how disrespectful it was to the artist and to our team and uh it sucks that it happened. If you find other art that, or if you find other artists that were direct copies, uh, please let me know. I'll, I'll put those in the comments as well. Um, the next video is still being worked on uh, and it will be posted in a couple of days, but the video after that one is going to be delayed a little bit just because I have to work on making the new art. And I decided that since I'm going to be working on, on the card game a little bit more, I'm also going to try to fix some of the bugs. I know some of you mentioned in the comments that the, the card game had some bugs in it so i'm gonna try to to iron some of those out before i upload it again and hopefully the whole experience will be better and well it will be better because there's no soul and art in it uh yeah that's it that's gonna be it for this video uh i'll see you guys in the next video uh it's gonna be that two-year journey been working on i think it's gonna be one of our longer videos that we've worked on and disappointing disappointing really disappointing okay i'll talk to you guys later